Just a little bit. That's what it's about. <laughs> Righty, hey guys, welcome back to the Salty Channel. So today's episode, I'm down the rock wall in Frio. We're gonna try and catch a snapper. Um, it's cold, miserable, but the tide is coming up. So, let's see if we can get a snapper on uh, the stones here. And um, do a bit of a cook up. But right now, just got my snail rig. Just into a, a sinker on the bottom here. I'm all tangled up, of course. I'm going for a... Uh, 80 pound just because I'm on the stones I usually run it at 50 on the beach but because we're on the stones might take a bit of a battering I'm just going to try and quickly get sorted here before the rains hit get two rods in with some guardy or some mullet and hopefully we get these rods bending oh, whew, it's freezing you know what Stop talking, get this done. Get the rods in the water. Let's get some zzz, 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 zzz going. Whew. Some guardies here. They look pretty cool. I'll chop him in half, one on each. And uh, let's get a fish. Oh my god! <laughs> Rock on! <laughs> I need to go to the gym to bloody crack this baby. These guys are... I got the dog. Oh, it's <laughs> Look at that. Oh yeah. If I was a fish, I'd want to eat that. Alright. You can't see nothing out here. That looks pretty cool. I know you can't see anything, but it doesn't look too bad. Very dirty and murky, which is cool. Now, we're gonna put these babies. <laughs> nice solid spot. Is that one? Yeah? Oh, no. Uh, I hate this. Uh, that's gonna be solid as, man. Oh, yeah. That, that is where it's going. That is gonna get a fish. Oh, all right, darkness, my old friend. Give me a snapper. Pull this out. Ah. Boom. That sink down. Oh, this is going to be wonderful. Stick that in there like that. Oh. How's this drag going? Just a little bit. A little bit more. get a big dog here now so I've got two lovely baits out there right now the Sun is coming up which is fabulous got one rod there one rod in the darkness over there look at these trucks all getting ready to load up so um, as I was walking back I seen some scales on the rocks let's go check them out over here uh, where are they so we know there's some fish around. Look at that. Some scales here. Wonderful. They're all on the floor. Oh yeah. There's got to be a pinky around here for me somewhere. It's so dark. But the sun's coming out really fast. Can't wait. But I'll, uh, I'll check those baits every 15 minutes. It is 6.30 now. I want to hear this drag just proper zing, man. Fish on!
that tension on. Woo, I haven't got my gaff. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's what it's about. Let's get up here, fight him up. Oh, yeah. Oh. Man. All right. Where am I? Let's get uh, this guy. All oh, these rocks are gonna be a serious issue here. There he is. Oh no! Come on, come on, baby. He's stuck. No. Oh, we got a dog. Ah. Guys, he is size two. Woo! He is snavel. Look at that. He's caught right up. Let me just stick his here. Oh, so you know what? Let me get my breath back and uh, get you back up here. Come on. Let's get my finger in there. Oh, look at that. A bit stuck here. What's happening? No. Start sinking stuck. Yeah. Woo. We got that dog. Yeah. Alright. Oh. I'm back up here guys. Let me just sort this here. Get some slack. What a beautiful fish. Gotta measure this baby up too. Oh yeah! Hello. <laughs> oh, crazy man with a slapper in his hand. Oh yeah. Let's put this baby right here. Oh. What is he about? Uh, I don't know. Fifty-five. 600 oh, Right We got a dog guys Woo -hoo -hoo. That didn't take long at all What I need to do is get my rod back in the water First of all I'm going to show you this guy Oh he wants to chop me Chop me uh, oh, Chop me pliers This is what we come for. How beautiful is that? What I'm going to do now, quickly measure him up, get his rod back in the water, hopefully get another one. But well, I'm happy with that. Beautiful. Right, let's uh, check out how big he is, eh? All I heard was my bloody drag just going. Zoo, 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 zoo. Something I prepared earlier. Yep. Yep, yep. No, 
Yeah, it's great. There's no one here at all. Everyone's down the other end. Let's have a look. Oh, I was wrong. What did I say? 550, 600. He's a 73. Well, if I do it that way, he's a 72. No, he's a 73. Bloody beautiful. Thank you, ocean gods. I'm stoked. You know what? Let's see if we can get another one. And, uh, wow. Fish on. now guys it is 7 30 uh, tide is coming up to about 10 30 today <laughs> I'm stoked you know what the great thing about it is I haven't even got a drop of rain on me I haven't even got wet so uh <laughs> touch wood this rain cloud just seems to be going around me so I'm pretty stoked just met uh, two really good awesome fellas that watch the channel Big up boys, lovely meeting you guys this morning. They're carrying on going fishing somewhere else. But hey, man, this is wicked. Oh, let's see if we can get one more. Uh, recipe wise, I'm gonna have to go home and uh, strum up a lovely snapper dish. Nice and simple. Oh man, life is good. Come on, let's go. Not the other rod to go off. It's a proper waiting game right now, isn't it? It's like you need a good book. Get on the old goo-goo. Uh, you just wait. Tennis, man. Back and forth. The drink. Bloop. Time check. Nine o'clock. Still waiting. I had a little bit of a touch on the other rod over there, but uh, it's all gone a little bit quiet. So I'll give it another hour, and hopefully we get the big bull. Man, there's a few squid around too. A few squid bites out of that bait. But come on. Let's get another dog on camera. Rightio guys. Complete mayhem then. Um, so how it all started, the gentleman dropped up to the lovely coffee because he watches the channel. True legend. We had another bloke as well that stopped. My rod here just absolutely just shot off. I've yeah. done so many hours here. Yeah, yeah, you're on. Oh. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that took off, didn't it? Try that again then, eh? It's gone down the rocks. Got a bit of damage there. That's okay. Use it for what it's worth. The rod is fine. The reels probably just needs a bit of uh, TLC. Um, so what I did is I, I reeled it back in and uh put a bait back on there you go i nearly lost my rod casted it back out i've lost my uh rod hold it's somewhere down there we'll go looking for it and i just sort of put it in the rocks then started talking to the gentleman trying to enjoy my coffee and bang it's gone off again Man, i'm trying to have a coffee he's coming back i hope so oh he's done me the line has snapped here is the braid over here let me just get on the rocks oh man it's been mayhem <laughs> so i've lost two good fish then oh, here we go let's have a look at the braid 
Oh, it's like a big bird's nest. So there you go. Check that. <laughs> Check that out. Uh, my braid has snapped due to the uh, spool being nicked. But hey, you wouldn't have picked that. Just rod goes off, nearly in the water. Throw out another bait, it goes off again. Mate, if we do get another fish on that rod over there, I'm buying a lotto ticket. Fish! Oh, we got a fish. Oh, no, no. Another drop snapper! So how's that guys? Three fish just lost, just like that. So, I've got a new bait out there. I really need to attend to this rod right here with the braid and stuff, pack it away. Fingers crossed, hopefully that one does go off again. But hey, three fish just like that. Um, that first fish that took that rod, I don't know if that was a snapper, would have been a, a Goliath snapper. Could have been a Mulloway. But hey, silly me, I should have had the drag on a little bit, a bit, little bit more lighter. Plus that rod holder there wasn't so secure. It really, it really, really needed another rock behind it. But hey, you get that? Fingers crossed. Oh, we got another pink, but a small pink. It's not what we want. Okay. How's that? Big brother smash me today. At that time, we've just got to go. I'm done for the day. <laughs> but uh, one good fish. I lost three. Um, my reel is knackered, but that spool has been sorted right now. Um, I've lost the rod holder as well. Um, I don't know if it's been a good day or a bad day. It's been it's been both actually. But um, for North Mole, absolutely crazy. Loved doing a session down here. But um, yeah, I'm just getting rid of all this stuff right now. My leader is knackered from the rocks. But hey, whew, complete mayhem. I've had all these lovely people come and say hello to me. Bloody great guys. But you know what? Let's just get home and do a catch and cook, eh? You? Man. I really should have had two pinkies on board. My bad. We're only human. Right. Here we are back again. Let's have a look at this pinky, guys. So he's just in here. I've got some ice today. Just lovely and fresh. Beautiful pink. Let's take a fillet of him. There you go. 
It's a lovely pink, not the biggest, but going to be the tastiest. So I'm just going to take a fillet off him, and that's for dinner tonight. Alrighty folks, I've just ripped off a fillet from that snapper and here it is, a beautiful fillet with the skin on, nice crispy skin. I don't know what recipe I'm going to do yet, I'm going to look in the fridge, I think I've got a whole cauliflower that's just been sitting in there all week, so I'm going to do something with that, some sort of cauliflower dish, but um, you know what, let's go sort it out. Alright guys, that is the main ingredient we're doing for this recipe, so we're going to do a a roasted cauliflower with a tahini drizzle over the top, sprinkled with some dukkha, with a lovely fried up snapper over the top. So what you'll do now is just uh, boil some water, seven minutes on one side, seven minutes on the other, get, get it in the oven and uh, roast that baby. Let's cut this off. Don't need that. Go the chooks. Let's put this baby in seven minutes one side, seven minutes on the other. The tahini drizzle, tahini, lemon juice, honey, turmeric, and olive oil whipped up. That is going to be drizzled all over the cauliflower. It smells amazing. That is dukkha that we've made, so that is just. Um, Macadamia nuts, uh, honey myrtle, it's got chili flakes in it, sesame seeds. Um, I can't bloody really remember what else is in that, but that is dukkha. You can buy that in a shop. And sprinkle that baby straight over the top, man. Okay, while that cauliflower is cooking, I'm going to grab some uh, herbs. First of all, some spring onions here. I only need probably a sprig. It'll be fine. We'll just knock it off from there like that. Okay, there's some coriander going down here. Bit of coriander. I haven't got much of it actually. I might have to get on, get on that. A little bit of parsley. Doesn't go astray. Nice fresh stuff. Um, have another one there. I'll grab another spring onion. I love spring onion. Can't forget the mint. Beautiful. Um, I need to repot this guy. Not looking too flash. We've got the fresh herbs. I've just turned off the cauliflower. I have to strain this now for about 10 minutes just to get all that water out and then we'll get it in the oven. Put this cauliflower into this dish, sprinkle it with olive oil, salt and pepper, bake the guy for about 25 minutes or until golden. Oven to 230. Olive oil, this crisps his skin right up. Right. Salt. Oh, <laughs> that looks delicious. Oh man. Let's get this bad boy out. Ooh. Ouch. And it's goddamn hot. <sighs> Perfect. That's what I want. Ooh, wow. hot. Let me just show you. That. Oh. Oh. Nice and golden. See that? Crunch that up like that. Oh, beautiful. Love a bit of cauliflower on a cold day. Put 
that sizzle. Cauliflower cheese is good too. Oh, someone's messaging me. Probably can smell it. Okay, that's what we've done there. Just a little bit of olive oil, just to lube it up a bit more. Good olive oil. Pinch of salt. Here we go. Tahini dressing. Oh yeah, look at this. That doesn't make you hungry. I don't know what will. Just a little bit of tahini dressing, just like that. Sprinkle some garnish on there. Oh, bloody delicious. What I want to do is just get my uh, spatula here. Put that on, just like that. I only need a little bit. This is dinner as well. Um, but if you look at that, beautiful. The crispy skin, straight on top. Oh my goodness, look at that. Put a little bit of a uh, Dressing over the top, just a drizzle. Oh, the dogs are going off. Look at that. Garnish. Can't forget the dukkah. Straight on top. So there you go guys, a beautiful golden cauliflower with a tahini drizzle, pink snapper with some garnish, dukkah, beautiful. I'm going to pour a wine, we're going to go outside and give this stuff a taste test. Oh mate, my wife's going to be uh, tonight. Look at that for a meal. Let's try this. Look at the pink snapper. Look at that. Mm. Bloody gorgeous. With a cauliflower, if I can get it. Mm. That is beautiful. With the fresh herbs and the dukkha, but look at that fish. You can't get fresher than that, guys. Cheers. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to head down to the North Mole again because I was quite disappointed that I lost those fish. I'm going to try another snapper bash. I don't know when, but when I get down there, we're going to catch those dogs. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Stay salty. Ooh. Massive respect for all the followers and subscribers, guys. Thank you very much.